All right, uh, with Eric Kroom here, and Eric, you, you got to do a bunch of uh, neat stuff this morning with that small group uh, leadership training. I think we saw you stand out as a leader in that. Uh, what was it like going through that with the actual soldiers here? It was fun because, you know, you see what those guys go through on a daily basis, and a lot of times we complain about the small stuff that's really not that big, mm -hmm. and plus it brings us closer together as a team. Like my uh, army unit today was short two men, so we had to uh, make a way with our two guys, so I think it was fun. What's it like in units like that when you only have maybe six guys as opposed to here where you got a whole football team? Uh, you got to use every uh, possible aspect you got. You know, it's only six of us, so we got to use our minds and our bodies to maximum because you're short two guys, so you got to be able to pick up the slack for two guys' production. So I think it brought the best of us out today and this morning. What you hear from the soldiers who tell you about these drills they're doing, which maybe sort of look like everyday things, but really tell you how it affects them in combat? I think it was, I think they really helped us show them how it is to be really having your brothers back. I think that was the whole purpose of the, of the mission today, of being able to have trust in the person next to you, even though if somebody might be younger than you or older than you or might be from whole different walks of life than you, it's all about having your brothers back. I think that helped us because that's what we've been cool, preaching. <laughs> that's, that's like, that's like that's just like, for example, I got his back, he got my back. That's the whole goal of the thing was me able to trust your, your brother. Daishan always knows how to get in these videos too. But uh, well, when you go through something like that, and you've been up here three years in a row, what's the relationship you've built with soldiers, even though it's different ones each year? How does it carry forward uh, throughout the season? I think we build a great relationship with those guys. You know, knowing our stories and knowing their stories, being able to you know put some ends to each other. A lot of us, a lot of those soldiers have uh, similar backgrounds to us. Mm -hmm. You know, they're trying to make a way for their family, like a lot of us are trying to make a way for their family. So I think it's built a great relationship, and also they learn from us, and we learn from them. So I think it's just been beautiful coming up here the last three years. And, and lastly, you heard the uh, lieutenant colonel talk to you guys at lunch and, and told you a very emotional story about uh, the soldiers that you've worked with and, and some that have been killed in action. What, what's it like to hear? the words from a guy like that uh, it, it was kind of it was crazy you know knowing some of the guys that we met have uh you know have, have died in battle so it was kind of like it was a kind of emotional inside but also you know things don't stop even though somebody because they sacrifice for others for us to play football and things like that so i think i took from that is you got to keep going on even though with tragedy so you got to be able to deal with it even though it's such a, a terrible thing that happens to people but they're able to move on and be able to trust the ones that's still here with you with center uh, John Miller now, and uh, John, you guys got to do some uh, neat stuff with the soldiers this morning, small yeah. groups, working on leadership. But what do you get out of an event like that? Um, I mean, you definitely get a lot of, uh, you know, help, you know, some of the basics you need as far as, you know, what a, what, a, what a leader is built from, you know. You know, they ask you, if you have any questions for them, and I mean, all of us are more than willing to ask. You know what really happens in the field. What it, what happens when your your leader goes down and you got to fill a void. You know that's that's some some of Coach Schaefer's motto is next man up. So I mean, as far as um, our offense or our defense goes, you know we want to able we want to be able to plug anyone in when need be. So I feel like you know having everybody ready for that leadership role is it's real key. You know. Um, one of the uh, the captains today told us he has to know his his job and the two jobs ahead of his. So I thought I really I really uh, you know listened to that and and really had to I really you know seen that as an opportunity for myself to know not only my position and the guard's position guard and tackle's position. You know I want to know what Terrell's doing, who he's reading, and everything. So I, I really got a lot of use out of that. I think from this morning. Is that interesting how what the staff sergeants were teaching you, they relate to battle and you're able to relate uh, the same thing to football? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it, I mean, it's n nothing the same, you know, they're, they're going over there to protect us and getting shot at, you know, we're just, mm -hmm. you know, hitting 300 pounders every day. So it's definitely, you know, there's, there obviously is some differences, but I mean, overall, the fact that I can relate it to football is, I mean, it's pretty amazing as far as how I can use what they're teaching me to, to bring to the football field and bring to the rest of the team. When you're dealing with these soldiers and guys that are about your same age that have certainly been through very different yeah. lives. What do you get out of here in their, their life stories and how do you carry that forward? I mean, it's definitely pretty crazy some of the stuff you hear, you know. I mean, you never want to, you know, see, hear about, you know, people getting shot at anything, anything like that. But I mean, 20, 20, 19, 20 years old, it's, it's, uh, pretty crazy as far as how how much different our lives can really be you know we're here at college trying to get a degree in there over there protecting protecting our freedom and whatnot so I think it's pretty pretty crazy how how, how different it really is but the fact that we can relate and, and get to know one another is, is real good too I think and, and lastly at lunch today you heard from the lieutenant colonel who told a, an amazing story about some of the guys you got to work with in the past uh, what's a moment like that like to to hear a story that really tells you what this is all about oh I mean it, it was definitely great I mean it gave me goosebumps a little bit for sure you know because uh, he was discussing that one of the guys that was uh, showing us the guns last year as far as the, um, the demonstrations and whatnot was one of the gentlemen that uh, had passed. And it was just pretty shocking. Like, I think I took a picture with that, that gentleman. So it was pretty... 
pretty crazy and surreal to to really hear like that had happened, and the fact that you know that they were able to you know get a little bit of uh, pick me up just from the stuff that we had sent over letters and videos and whatnot. So it was definitely pretty you know touching and whatnot, and and what he was willing to do. So I think the fact that uh, we were able to have this this relationship with them is real great. You know, I, I get so much out of it, and I I think that the the team does too. So I mean, it's pretty 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 neat. I think. All right, John. Great to hear. No problem. Thank you.